Hello and welcome back to another news video for Final Fantasy XIV. Yesterday on the 23rd of March we had the PAX East panel for Final Fantasy XIV and Dawn Trail. We got a release date of the active service going live on July the 2nd, 2024 less than three months away from that at time of recording and of course we had the early access dates of the 28th of june given to us which is pretty awesome that's on the friday previous to july the second pre-orders then begin for the actual game if you want to buy it and have early access for all versions on tuesday this tuesday coming the 26th of March. In particular then, the special site is uh, quite interesting because they've updated obviously with the trailer, some other bits and pieces, the date, but at the bottom they also have the listing for the product page uh, of obviously what you get within the collector's edition, the physical collector's edition, as well as prices. Now I checked there's no current EU page for this that's been updated, there's no GB page so we don't have those values, they might differ slightly, of course we can use currency conversion to make some sense of this but we only have it officially posted here in Dollarinos. As you can see, uh, for the physical collector's edition with the game, obviously, on Windows and Mac, that's $214.99. If you remember, Endwalker cost $199.99, so it's gone up around $15 or so dollars if you factor in inflation, things like that. So it's not a massive hike in my opinion from what was previously available and of course this is you know something you don't need to have uh, it's definitely something that I want though because the cloth map in particular is probably worth more to me than any of the other items um, of course if you just want the digital items which includes the arc mount which is you know some people are calling it a reskin of the cruise chaser but it, it's it's pretty much the arc really cool mount the Garnet uh, Minion, and of course the Chocobo Brush for your Pictomancer Glamour, uh, which has a nice star-shaped palette. Um, if you want just that, you can get the Digital Collector's Edition, which is on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Windows, Mac, and Steam, of course. That's for Steam players um, you know, who want to get the digital version. That will cost you $59.99. So there's not really much of a difference, I don't think from last time a small increase and of course if you don't want a digital collector's edition you just want a standard game that's for ps5 ps4 xboxes windows mac and steam that's 39 dollars 99 which is actually pretty much comparable to last time it's uh, definitely worth the money in my opinion if you are a steam player however maybe your account is tied to steam or any of the other digital platforms um, you know, on consoles, for example, and you want to get yourself the collector's items, you can buy the collector's box, which is how they've done it separately. It works out to be pretty much the same amount of money. That's without looking into shipping and other costs like that from a store. But of course, um, you will not get Dawn Trail with this. It'll be $155. This is something that they've started doing in the last couple of expansions because of, of high demand of people not having access to this or buying it anyway and then not using the code, which was a thing people used to do, sadly, or selling the code on. So at least this way people can make the choice to play on the platform of their choice and still get the collector's items if they want to. So that's $155. If we were to convert this then into, you know, my money, uh, if you're in Britain, then of course uh, the collector's edition costs £170.61 if we currency convert it. It's likely to be slightly more than that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, a little bit higher than last time. It's not too bad though. It's not too bad considering how things have inflated in the industry and how games are you know naturally a lot more expensive than this i think that that's not too bad for a collector's edition with all those physical items but of course it's always about the shipping uh 59 works out obviously at let's see what's the current rate so that's 47 pounds 60 so it'll be 48 maybe 50 quid and then we've got 39 being the base one you know, obviously up to 30 quid, basically 31, maybe 32 pounds, something like that, um, depending on what they want to do with other forms of inflation on various stores. But um, yeah, that's basically the prices. Obviously, we don't have the official sites with the exact listings for, for Great Britain and the rest of Europe. But um, 
I thought this was a good thing to talk about. So what exactly do you get in the collector's edition? If we click on the product details page, they've got this lovely site here. Of course, any version of a game, if you pre-order, you will get a minion and some earrings. The minion obviously is the protagonist from Final Fantasy IX, Zidane, or Zidane, depending on if which, uh, which camp you come from on pronunciation. And it says this miniature version of Final Fantasy XIX Zidane, F 19s Final Fantasy IX Zidane makes for an ideal adventuring companion. So as long as you keep an eye on your valuables, minions are vanity pets that do not have any effect on players' attributes. Yes. And yeah, he looks pretty much how you would want him to look. Uh, he's got his little monkey tail hidden behind his cuff there. Excellent stuff. I can't wait to see what other Final Fantasy IX news we get out of the year. Because Yoshi P on stage said, There's a reason there's so many Final Fantasy IX references, but it's top secret. So hopefully the remake is going to happen. Who knows? Um, there are also the Azamas earrings. These work very similar to the previous earrings we got. Uh, obviously these go up to level 90 this is a 30 percent exp increase for combat rolls up to level 90 so definitely something you want to equip if you're not already level 90 or if you're a new player this could be a really nice thing works only on disciple of war or magic doesn't work on crafters or gatherers just to let you know and it is a really pretty bit of glamour uh, when it comes to earrings and things like that i do like this actually there's not many different types of earrings there's like maybe 20 different types that look different so it's always nice when we get more glam everything to match with red blue and gold very happy with that and of course that bonus effect only applies from level one uh, all the way to 90 it doesn't work after 90 so there's no bonuses beyond that and that's for any version of the game even the standard one if you uh, pre-order along with that you'll get early access to dawn trail quote unquote early access basically if you buy the game now you know on tuesday or before the game comes out you will get early access um obviously that begins on friday the 28th of june and it says that it's currently scheduled for 2 a.m pdt um for the early access so uh, we've got an exact time i would say take this with a pinch of salt it depends if things get delayed by a couple of hours or not expansion launches are expansion launches so bear in mind there's that of course, it tells you how to redeem pre-order bonuses on the PS4. You get it from your PS4 store. And of course, you get it in the Moogle Mail. For PS5, it's the same. For Xbox Series X and S, it's the same. You buy it from the Microsoft Store on your Xbox. It gets delivered in the game. And for Windows, um, it's pretty much the same thing. You pre-order it. And you get a code when you pre-order the game. And then you can redeem this. Uh, typically, the site doesn't necessarily be instant. So I don't expect this to be live on the Tuesday. Usually, there's like a code that you get given. And then the code, it takes a while for the page to work, you know, because of people using it. And, um, you know, the timing of pre-order bonus registration codes may be uh, varying by retailer, which is they're kind of covering their own back there because don't expect it to be on the Tuesday. It could be. And then as soon as that's done, we will probably get these rewards in the game um, pretty much within the next couple of weeks, I would say, after you've pre-ordered. So you'll be able to get instant access to your Zidane and Azema earrings, or at least near instant. And uh, obviously then they're delivered via the Moogle Mail. Same with Mac. And with Steam, it's the same idea. So you buy it from your Steam store, you get a pre-order thingy, you go put that on their registration website on the Mog Station. You know your item where you put item codes in like where you redeem item codes if you've ever seen that on your account and then eventually they'll get delivered to you in the game um but of course we've got the collector's edition and the standard edition of course the standard edition looking pretty cool with that artwork and the collector's edition these are the items so of course we have the beautiful yoshitaka amano uh art on the box itself with a gold box very shiny we've got the figure which is a viper warrior of light with hopefully a better face than some of the other models we've seen. Uh, we've got our journal, which is the unending journey, which if you know it's in the in room, you can play back cutscenes. Well, in real life, this is a blank journal where you can write day one, I got on a boat. Day two, I fell off a boat, stuff like that. We've got this. Um, it's a pretty weird shot of this. Uh, Yoshi P showed this unraveled. It's uh, like a place to put your pens or paints if you're an artist, like a leather bound pouch. And it was, uh, you, you can scroll it up like a scroll and then you can undo it with that leather fastening 
and then you can put things in the little pouch pockets. It's also got parts of Tural in the background. It looks really high quality, actually, if it looks anything like the images we've seen. That's awesome. And the cloth map. This is absolutely awesome. This is the first time we've had a cloth map since Stormblood, I think. So a lot has changed. Of course, you've got the whole world hidden under this picture here, but we'll show it on screen of um, obviously including Tural and all of the so far uncovered places. Hopefully they do a map uh, like this in the future when we've gone to all of the other places. That would be nice. Uh, digital items, if you get the digital collectors or this version, you get that as well. You get the digital items as well as the physical ones. But if you get just the digital collectors, you get the arc mount, which looks pretty awesome. It is very cool. It transforms into a robot and then back again. And then you've got the garnet minion and then the paintbrush, um, the chocobo paintbrush and easel thing, palette, star-shaped palette for your uh, for your Pictomancer. All in all, really cool items, really cool items, and um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to uh, to get my hands on the physical version, realistically. But I thought this would worth, uh, was worth putting out there because we didn't talk about prices yesterday, and it has gone up a little bit. Um, as you would imagine with video games, but I don't think it's an unfair increase, especially when you look at the price of some of these games some days. But definitely uh, leave a comment below if you're which version you're going to pick up, if you're excited to get any of the items, or if the collector's edition doesn't interest you. I know some people are like, eh, don't want the figure, eh, a map doesn't bother me. The highlight for me is definitely the map, though. If it wasn't for the cloth map, I probably wouldn't be interested to buy this, because the journal's cool, but... What, what am I going to put in there? Crafting recipes? I suppose I could. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think about this one. More videos on the way as we get them. There's lots of interviews and things to talk about. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.